Hey everyone, this is Sam Pham, and welcome to the NBA 2K Labs channel. Today we'll be looking at playmaking badges on NBA 2K22. So in this video, we'll be looking at the new playmaking badge, and that is the Hyperdrive. Now by 2K's definition, Hyperdrive is explained as a badge that increases the dribbling skills while on the move for the user. But let's take a look in-game and see when this badge actually pops up. So you can see of a size up here, it does not pop up for Trey Young. But as you do any kind of forward dribble move with turbo, especially out of size up or on the move, hyperdrive will trigger. So off of that dribble move, you can see it trigger at a Hall of Fame level and it's extremely fast. Here you can see me do the same move, but this is with no badge. So this is no hyperdrive badge and I'm trying to go forward with a dribble move while I'm moving and it's just not happening. So let's take a look in detail exactly how fast Hyperdrive is. Here is at Hall of Fame level and it took 70 frames from the start of the forward turbo dribble move to the first dribble and it took 70 frames right there and that's as fast as you can get it. Now at a no batch level you can see from the first movement of the forward turbo dribble move to after to the first dribble it took 81 frames so that is significantly slower. Now if you move it up to bronze, the jump from bronze from uh, no batch is quite fast, it's about 5 frames. So you can see every single time it's the same move, same forward turbo dribble move and then the first dribble. That was at about 5 frames faster. But the jump from bronze to silver is pretty much close to nothing. Uh, it's about 1 frame so that's really not worth your extra point of investment. But if you do decide to get it all the way to gold, uh, you can see the same move here in this case was uh, 73 frames for gold. So that's a pretty good jump from bronze. And when we're talking about using this badge in tight one-on-one, -on -one, you know, ISO or offensive situations, that's worth the jump. So overall, if you look at the percentage, from no badge to bronze is about a 6% uh, frame increase. Then you get that 1% between bronze and silver. And then silver to gold is pretty good. And then obviously Hall of Fame is another 4% bump up. So from no badge to Hall of Fame, it is a 14% frame percentage increase. So that is significant. So if you're a player that likes to separate from the defender, and also if you love doing the forward momentum dribble moves or any kind of forward dribble move with turbo while you're on the move, this is the badge for you, all right? So if you enjoyed today's video, please add us a like and you can click on the card above or the link in the description below for more 2K22 tests and methods that have been done by us all year long. As always, thanks for coming by and I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.